Breaking tonight, Britain's royal family responding to the explosive claims made by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in their interview with Oprah Winfrey. Buckingham Palace saying the royal family is saddened about how challenging the last few years have been for the couple. That's not all. Let's talk about what was said and all the fallout happening across the pond with Lord John Taylor from the British House of Lords. Sir, welcome back to Fox News at night. Great to have you. Well, Shannon, greetings to you from London. I want to know how this landed there and the response from the Queen today, this Buckingham Palace statement saying the issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Um, so how did the show land there and what do you make of the Queen's response? Well, it's a family calamity. I mean, it's the winds of family at war. In many ways, there are no winners, Shannon, in this. But the Queen's statement issued today, it's very short. It's 61 words long, but it mentions the word family three times. And I think that's very significant. You know, the good book says, blessed are the peacemakers. And the Queen here is a peacemaker. She's trying to put oil on troubled waters. And that's what's needed here in this situation. And she did talk about how much she loves Harry and Meghan and Archie uh, and how that will not change. The Wall Street Journal, though, has an opinion piece. Uh, the headline, Meghan and Harry, Aristocratic Victims for Our Time, says, you'd struggle to find a better metaphor for one of the dominant narratives of our age. Our elites parading their grievances and preoccupations for the masses demanding sympathy, issuing a call for the ordinary people to do better to acknowledge their own sinfulness. That's one American's take. Um, what's the average Brit's take? I believe in the principle, and I think most Brits do, that uh, life, you know, it's ups and downs, but you don't get bitter, you get better. <laughs> you learn more in the valleys than the hilltops. And all families have problems, but to air your dirty linen in public is not the way forward, especially if you're, you know, going to gain financially from it. I just don't think this is the right way. Uh, the Queen is genuine in her love for her children and grandchildren. That's that's quite clear. But she also believes in loyalty to the royalty. And that's very, very important. It seemed most of the headlines out of the show were about race and the claims that Meghan Markle made on that front. Um, the Associated Press has this. Ha Meghan's racism claim comes as no surprise to black Britons says whether it's the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on people of color or the lack of non-white faces at the top of British media and politics. Ethnic minorities in the UK say racist attitudes and structures of discrimination are pervasive and all too often denied by society at large. So the, the racial component of uh, these claims and of this interview, how does that impact the monarchy? How does it um, resonate or not with the people of the UK? Well, racism is a factor, whether you're a princess or a pauper. In 1996, uh, the Queen ennobled me. I became the only black lord in the world. I was the only black lord out of 1,800. And it was a very uh, lonely place to be. I had this title, but really very little support around me. And I had to learn the hard way that, you know, there's only one race, the human race. It's not about the color of your skin. It's the content of your character. And I just, you just have to rise above the racism. It's with us. We just have to defeat it. It's, uh, it's a journey. It's not a destination. It is getting better, but, you know, it's still a part of our lives. But you have to tackle it, you know, with compassion, with strength, with dignity, not doing it the way that she's doing it, in my opinion. Having said that, she's raised an important issue, and that is a good thing, and we have to deal with it. How does the Queen deal with this? We know Prince Philip has been ill and undergone major surgery. He's been hospitalized. He's 99 years old. Uh, and there are those who worry that she and Philip were very hurt uh, that their grandson would go public with some of these claims um, and, and things that could be very hurtful to them. Well, the Queen has done it the right way. As I say, that's a very short statement today. But in that statement, she mentions the word family three times. She emphasizes the fact that Meghan is not an outcast. She's still part of the royal family, although she's not a working royal. You know, she hasn't been discarded. So the Queen is showing love above all the hate and vitriol. And that's the way forward. The Queen is showing us all an example. 
She tends to be very reserved. She's been through World War II, the fall of communism, all kinds of things. The queen has seen it all and has persevered. And uh, let's hope that the family can find common ground and healing through this too. Lord, always good to have you back. Thank you so much for being up so early there across the pond. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you.